You were brought on to analyze whether the Midland State Police Department followed proper procedure in following the guidelines, correct? Right? Uh, yes, that's my job. I audited the Midland State Police Department's implementation of the undercover guidelines. And you would agree that to come to your conclusions, it would be beneficial to have as much information as possible. Oh, certainly. You did not interview Mickey Keenan, did you? No, I was. I only had access to Mickey Keenan's affidavit. But you did not even ask to interview Mickey Keenan, did you? Uh, no, I asked to interview uh, Chief Kimball, which was uh, Mickey Keenan's superior, but my request to interview him was denied. Back to my original question, you did not even ask to interview Mickey Keenan, did you? No, I asked to interview his superior. Uh, you didn't ask to interview Avery Bancroft? No, I did not. You didn't ask to interview Corey Hyde? No, I did not. You didn't ask to interview Chase Covington? No, I did not. In fact, you did not ask to interview a single witness in trial today, did you? No, I did not. I'd like to bring you back to something you mentioned on direct examination. You said that you couldn't find any documentation of Mickey Keenan's training, didn't you? This is correct. The MSPD failed to document any training, if there was any extra training, for Mickey Keenan to engage in undercover uh, work. But you agree that just because you cannot find it does not mean that training does not exist, correct? Well, if they're going to comply with the undercover guidelines that the MSPD said they adopted in 2010, then any, docu any training should have been documented, otherwise it would have violated the guidelines. But you agree that if Mickey Keenan was perhaps undercover still, the documentation would not be made available to the public? Uh, well, I am aware of Mickey Keenan's real legal name. Uh, and I was provided with that so that I could see if maybe this training had been entered under the legal name, but I could not find any. And you also checked Officer Keenan's past history in the department, didn't you? Correct. And you couldn't find any history of past misconduct on the part of Officer Keenan in the department? <coughs> well, aside from a lack of training on behalf of Keenan, no. Well, you can't say for certain whether or not Officer Keenan didn't get that training, can you? Well, again, all I can say for certain is what I found in my investigation, and my investigation comes from the documents that I reviewed. I saw no documentation of this training, so therefore I don't know that it even happened. So Officer Keenan, or sorry, Ms. Lorian, you're definitively saying that Officer Keenan did not get any training because you could not find it. I'm saying that I received and reviewed no documentation of Mickey Keenan's training for undercover work. Ms. Lorian, I simply need a yes or no to my question. Just because you cannot find it does not mean that training does not exist, correct? My job entitles me to look at documentation. The, I did not see any documentation in my investigation of any training. Therefore, I cannot assume any training had been acquired. Your Honor, I simply ask that this witness answer my question with a yes or no. Uh, Your Honor, um, this witness is simply attempting to answer the question to the best of her ability. Um, certain questions cannot be answered with a simple yes or no answer as um, more extrapolation, more explanation is needed. Mayor Swagner, you may. I asked this witness if just because she did not find any evidence of training, it means it does not exist. This offers a yes or no answer. That, that is sufficient for this question. That is the last question that he asked, so objection is Yes or no? Yes or no. You, just because you cannot find training, or documentation of the training does not mean it does not exist. I cannot tell if it does or does not exist. I cannot say. So to be clear, you can't prove whether or not Mickey Keenan received training. I cannot say. And you can't say, and you can't, you, you cannot find any history of past misconduct on the part of Officer Keenan. Aside from lack of uh, training, no. Now, I'd like to bring you to your conclusion in today's case. You said that <coughs> The defendant was not predisposed to commit bribery. This is correct. Uh, there was no history of any indication that the defendant would commit bribery. No, any indication of bribery that in my investigation was brought up by Mickey Keenan. Uh, Ms. Lorian, you reviewed the affidavit of Officer Keenan, didn't you? Yes. In the um, affidavit, Officer Keenan says that she actually began investigating the Midland State Pol or the Midlands Gambling Commission initially, correct? Correct. And she only began investigating the defendant after she overheard a conversation between the defendant and Chase Covington. 
Yes. And what was said, and I wrote this down to make sure that I got it exactly right. I saw the announcement about a new casino. I'm putting together a proposal, and I'd like to talk to you about it to, you know, grease the wheels. Correct. That was said by the defendant in this case, correct? Correct. And it was only after Officer Keenan heard that statement that she began investigating the defendant. As far as I know, yes. No further questions. 